For those of you using Notepad++, I'm going to be showing you how to run the program from within Notepad++, and for that matter, uh, how to run any file with its default program. So if you installed Notepad++ and left all the settings, the defaults and all that stuff, you should get something that looks like this. And what we want to do is add a option to this menu up here to run our vscript file. So to do that, first off, let's close our vscript file. And now we're going to go to our users folder. So that would be in your main drive and then in users and then select your folder. So now we need to go to app data, which is a hidden folder. So Windows 10, you can go view and show hidden items and then it pops up right there. If you don't want to bother with that, you can also just type it in right up here, app data and then hitting enter. And then we're going to go to the roaming folder and notepad plus plus down here. So in here, you should have a shortcuts.xml file. If this shortcuts file isn't in here, then you probably saved all your stuff in a different location. So if you go to Notepad and then Settings and Preferences in your Cloud section right here, if this is set to a different location, then you're going to go there to edit this file. But if not, if everything's the default, then you can go to this location. Now let's go ahead and edit this. We can use Notepad to do this. And up here where it says launch in, so launch in Firefox, IE, etc. Use one of those because it has a very similar command that we're going to use. So I'm going to copy the Chrome one and move down and paste. So now we have two launching Chromes. So let's change the name of this to just say launch default. Again, you can have this say whatever you want. And if you were to specifically use this to run only vScript files, then right here where it says Chrome, you would actually use the wscript.exe application. So to do this, you could probably get away with just typing out wscript, like so, wscript or wscript.exe. They probably both would work. Um, but regardless, if this is not working, then you would have to provide the full path to this file, which is in your System32 folder, which is in Main Drive, Windows, System32 and then wscript.exe. For this one though, we're going to be just opening the file up. So get rid of Chrome and all of that stuff. And now all you're left with is a quote, the full path to the file, and then another quote. So that is going to be your command right there. For all the shortcut options, you can leave those as they are because we're going to be editing them within the program because it makes it a lot easier. So make sure to save it and then we can close it and then close out of Notepad. This is going to allow it to kick in, of course. Now hit Start and rerun Notepad. Now what you should get when you hit Run is your option that you specified right here. And you can click this and as you can see it runs it just as if you were to double click the file. So let's go ahead and hit Modify and click our new one and then hit Modify here. And this is where you can change the, the shortcut to activate it. So Whatever shortcut combination you want, I like to do Alt Spacebar, Control Alt Spacebar. So now that you have your shortcut up, go ahead and test it out. Hopefully it works and you didn't have any trouble with this video, and I will see you all in the next one.